Every single video in Connecticut has been starting off with how great the weather is and how much I'm enjoying and all this happy bull crap. Cody, on a scale of one to Florida, how cold is it right now? Well, as you could tell, perspiration is happening on my forehead right now and it's hot as hell. Literally, just walked outside, that's why drenched. We, that's why we have iced coffee. Yeah, I literally bought a coffee maker just so me and Cody could have our traditional iced lattes as we go to the skate park. this is. It's large. It's large. Every single video in Connecticut has been starting off with how great the weather is and how much I'm enjoying and all this happy bull crap. Cody, on a scale of one to Florida, how cold is it right now? Well, as you could tell, perspiration is happening on my forehead right now and it's hot as hell. Literally, just walked outside, that's why drenched. We, that's why we have iced coffee. Yeah, I literally bought a coffee maker just so me and Cody could have our traditional iced lattes as we go to the skate park. This is. It's large. It's large. We're going to a skate park. It's like 100 degrees, so we're going to sweat and we're just going to complain about being hot and tired and we're not going to get a lot of clips. But it's going to be fun and the drive there is really pretty. We're basically just going so we can like post on our stories to make it look like we still ride even though we don't. Right, Code? Yeah, I get one clip. Pretty much, but yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a pretty drive, so we'll, we'll start. We'll start with a nice little like GoPro time lapse of all the pre drive and everything. Okay, we're going to New Milford. They got renovations. Cody's sitting here complaining about this car when he has a perfectly fine working truck right next to us. And we're taking a race car to the skate park. Bikes are in pieces. We got like 10 gallons of E85 because it's so far we're going to run out. And you're sitting here complaining. That's, that's my job, isn't it? To complain about everything and, Not. Then, and then you critique me. He hasn't been complaining at all. I'm just giving him a hard time. All right, Code, you're gonna get some screamo music that you've been missing so much and a nice pretty drive. We've been at the skate park for about 30 minutes now, just sitting in the car in the AC, contemplating whether or not we want to get out. What do you think, Code? Still not sure, honestly. It took us like five minutes to get here. This was like a 30 minute drive. Look at this purple Subaru. It's pretty cool. He's got an NVIDIA exhaust, an HPT Motorsports sticker install, uh, Perrin subframe bushings, and Subi Mods valve covers. Um, but it says it's stock. It does? Yeah, it says stock over there. Oh, it does. Yeah. Stock. A cob. You must really like corn on the cob. I think that's what that means. You know better than me. I don't know anything about cars. Yeah, it looks like he's got some sweet forged rinsing wheels. I think, I think that's the owner right there, but I'm not sure. So if you guys remember us riding this park way back, essentially still the same thing, still got the same quarters, still got the same obstacles, but they went ahead and added like little bits of transition um, and just little like kind of random pieces. Not probably the best for skateboards because it's kind of bumpy, but there are some like really cool little hips and I think it's gonna be fun on a bike. Code, do something over the hip real quick. Let's see a bar spin. Super awesome. Yeah, Code. The only way to get Cody to do anything cool is by pulling the camera out. I haven't even thrown a bar spin from the mellow bank to bank, but just gotta send it, I guess. He's got a bean bag for his ADD, right, Code? Yeah, I gotta chalk it up. That was hard. I get a nice little sweaty 270 on the sweaty hit. Yeet. I'd like to do it better. I ran too often. I tried this. Alright guys, we're back to the nice Connecticut weather. Conveniently enough, we're at Jimmy's shop. He's got a nice little bit of shade here. And I'm currently letting the car cool down because today we're actually going to take care of the situation where the turbo has been hitting the strut tower. Our friend B. Hall is really, really good at body work and paint. So he's going to help clearance it, paint it. And then I'm going to switch out to a new center section since mine is pretty damaged from all the vibration and hitting the uh, strut tower. It's also extremely hot and my hands are burning. <laughs> Don't put on your windshield, Kyle. Whatever. Put on the ground, Adam. <laughs> Alright, take it out, Adam. Let's see it. 
Oh, well, I still have lines attached. Oh, I well. Lines up. I was just gonna like take the lines off with it off, just make it a little easier. So I'm gonna be a little ghetto and reuse this gasket. Um, the important thing is just that I mark the orientation that it's in. Then we can just put some Mark TV on it to kind of help it seal a little bit better, but I don't have any extra on these. So this is front top. You got like a Sharpie? Nope. Yes, you do. You give me a Big moment. Right. She's out. Look at her. Mm. Hello. Oh, leaky boy. Yeah, she's not. Oh, little... I forget your lens is not wide. All right, LZ, game plan. Go. Uh, uh, take fittings off, go get crush washers, put fittings on new center section, rebuild, uh, B Hall, come over, make clearance, paint. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're changing is the whole center section, so we're gonna need the exhaust housing and the intake housing, so we have to separate the whole entire thing. You're acting like I didn't already say this or something. I said I it better. I don't like repetition, this isn't Blue's Clues Gym. What's the update? Getting there. Screwing her back together, trying to remember how everything went. Did it clock correctly? Don't know, we'll see. <laughs> it's really fun, just like peaceful. Well, it's nice when you can like casually work on a bench instead yeah. of in a hood or underneath the hood. Yeah, you're right, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I also got another throttle body from Rob Brokerage, so in the meantime, while we're doing the bay stuff, I'm gonna change this out to get rid of that uh, leaky throttle body area. You guys haven't watched the video, so you know. Uh, Adam's you throttle keep body. Stuff that I already filmed. I'm sorry. Okay. Here's the throttle body. I'm irrelevant. Okay. I'm trying to help because you've. Last time you were here, you kept forgetting the film, so here you go. Throttle body, it's going on. I'm just discreet about it. I'm not all in your face and stuff. You should, yeah, whatever. Yeah, mm -hmm. Screw you and the... He's embarrassed. Parents real name is Clarence. I don't even know my dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so me and B Hall are trying to plan this out before we do it. And uh, kind of came up with the idea, because it's gonna be hard to bash this in up here and kind of sketchy because it's so close to the seam, that we could actually clock the turbo a little bit more so the trouble issue is all on the bottom and then just bash it in down there where you won't see it and it's not as structural. Seems smart? Yeah, for sure. I mean, plus this, this here is all two layers and this layer here especially is quite thick. So you're gonna deal with like basically, you know, two and a half kind of thickness where down here is just gonna be the one layer to deal with, which will be much easier. You all in there scratching my paint? Sorry, bro. It's okay. Heard you know a good painter? Yeah. I'll, I'll call him later. So we clocked it a little bit, so now there's a bit of a gap up here. Probably even clock it more once it's hammered in in the bottom. I have a magnet. This is, what is it's this? It's a tool holder, but it's still magnetic. All right, Drew. I don't think it's gonna take long. That's really cool. If it's in its perfect like straight orientation, um, it's got quite a bit of clearance. Yeah. But we left room so if it is, uh, well basically, we're gonna have it more like that but if it does like vibrate and shift back to the center location, there's still clearance in here. It's kind of hard to tell, but up you here you really notice it. You yeah, totally you'll be able to tell my turbo doesn't go bad from vibrating. Yeah. <laughs> hey, should we uh, nope. cover my manifold? Yeah, you should probably do that. <laughs> Damn, y'all, you're so nice with it. With that. Uh... Man, this is legit. Dude, I bought a roll of this plastic and I couldn't believe how cheap it is. It's 30 bucks and you can wrap like 20 plus cars with it. It's absurd. It's 20 feet wide or 16 feet wide or something, 16 feet. I kept on, like, you know how it's folded up like three times? Yeah. I kept unfolding kept it. My, it. My mind was blown. I was like, there's more. Yeah, it's amazing. My camera can't even pick it up because it's so bright. There she is. Tell him what you said before, Brian. What? I don't know how to hack shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is primer, relax. 
Are you using a special type of primer? No. I'm using <laughs> white primer. <laughs> Is it etching? No, it'll be fine. I'm just prepping up so we can lay some base and some clear on this thing. How are you prepping it? How am I prepping it? Uh, first, I did some wet sanding with some 320. I uh, went back over it with 400. Since it's a non metallic, 400 is fine. So I'm just going right to the Scotch Bright. And obviously, doing a, a little bit larger area than what we primed. And uh, should be ready to shoot it pretty soon. <laughs> How's the thought about it coming? So again, I had to do a couple little bit of modifications, like my throttle cable's like seizing in it, and then I need to drill a hole for a spring, but I'm just, you know. It looks cool in black. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Hey, as long as no leak air, we're good. Brian's covering up all the cars, he's finishing up his uh, throttle body. We're just gonna have to like adjust the TPS to zero it out once uh, we get the car turned on again, but I had to do a little bit of custom work, but I think we're good now. Yeah, it looks great. How do you feel about the black? You like it better? Or you kind of yeah, that eh. one's cooler. I'd like a cool machine logo on it too, but true. Whatever. We could put a really cool sticker on it. <laughs> put in the comments what you guys think we should put for a sticker right here, right here, right across the top. <laughs> Let us know. Just pretty standard issue stuff. We have the white. Uh, it's one part base, one part base maker. Why are you making so much? Um, because it's hard to pour such a little amount with. For what I'm using, so fuck it. We're gonna spray Jimmy's day when we're done. And uh, like, so there's only four ounces of this in this. I should have prepped something random to paint. <laughs> yo, 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 who said you can paint my wood? Sorry, bro. <laughs> this is fun. Sending it. So Adam got the throttle body on. It looks pretty cool. The black, you know. Jimmy's, Jimmy's trying to get me to like the black because he knows I don't like it as much as the polish. Yeah. The, the black looks good, right, Adam? I won't, yeah. Look at how great this came out. Yeah, this looks amazing, though. Um. So as much as I'd love to assemble it now and go home. I think I'm gonna take one for the team and, and I'm gonna stay at Jimmy's house and then come back in the morning because if I assemble all this right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who says we can have a sleepover? I gotta call my mom first. I'll stay with, <laughs> I'll stay with my sister's bed. Cool. Right, so listen, um, 100% gonna mess up the paint between the blanket, the lines, and then driving it home when the paint's still soft. So I'm just gonna finish it up tomorrow morning. Close the video out here. Thank Brian Hall. Thank Jimmy Oaks. <laughs> <laughs> have a good night. Yeah. <laughs>